हेलो जी स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर सेवेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ द बुक विस्टर्स दैट इज इवान स्ट्राइज एन ओल लेवल रिटन बाई कॉल इन टेक्सट सो बिफोर यू रीड द चैप्टर यू शुड नो समथिंग अबाउट द राइटर्स फीलिंग द राइटर वॉन्ट्स टू रेज अ क्वेश्चन शुड क्रिमिलन इन प्रीजन बी गिवन द अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ लर्निंग एंड एजुकेशन so you will realize after this uh, reading this chapter that the criminals those who are in the prison they should be allowed to get education or not so here we have the characters of this chapter the first one is the secretary of the examination board a dramatis personae it means in the characters uh, the person those who are there in the drama the secretary of the examination board the governor of hm prison oxford James Evans a prisoner Mr Jackson a prison officer Mr Stephens a prison officer the reverend S McLeary an invigilator Mr Carter detective superintendent Mr Bell detective chief inspector so in this chapter this prisoner Evans he want to give the o level exam of german all precautions have been taken to see to it that the o level german examination arranged in the prison for ivan does not provide him with any means of escape so when if we talk about uh, ivan he is a prison, prisoner and um, many times he has uh, escaped from the jail so now they are arranging exam for him o level exam of german german for him in the prison and they have made all the arrangement that Uh, he should not escape from the jail escape from the cell so let us start it was in early march when the secretary of the examination board received the call from oxford prison so secretary of examination board of german he received the call from the uh, prison oxford prison oxford you know the name of the place and so um, the prison was there in the oxford he called as secretary of the exam It is a slightly unusual request, Governor, but I don't see why we should not try to help. Just the one fellow, you say. So actually, in that call, the uh, he asked secretary of the examination about the O level exam of Evans. He told him that he wants to give the exam. So the secretary said it's a slightly unusual request. Generally, uh, he did not get this type of request from anyone. to give exam in the prison but i don't see why we should not try to help and he said okay this is an usual request but i don't think there is anything wrong in helping him just the one fellow you see so he said okay you said only one fellow is there who want to give the exam that's it chap called evans so he said ha huh, the governor said okay there is only one person uh, his name is evans started night classes in o level german last september he said he has already started night classes for o level german in last september says he is dead keen to get some sort of academic qualification he is uh, he says he is dead keen to get some sort sort of academic qualification dead keen means he is extremely very keen very curious to get uh, academic qualification is he any good so secretary asks he uh, is a good person he was the only one in the class so you can say he he's had individual tuition all the time so he said ha he is good uh, in studies because he was the only person there who was taking uh, a tuition individual there was no one else who was taking the classes for this really would have cost him a packet if he had been outside he said he would have this would have cost him he was because he was the only person to take class in the uh, prison so if he would have been outside he would have paid a um, cost him a packet means it would have been very costly for him because as he was in the prison so everything would have been uh, paid by the prison authority well let's give him a chance shall we that jolly kind of you what exactly is the procedure now so he said okay so we'll give him um, chance do you agree he said it's very um, pleasant uh, kind of you what exactly the procedure now he said what would be the procedure now how can we um, arrange exam for him oh don't worry about that i'll be sending you all the forms and stuff what's his name you say evans 
He said, you don't worry about anything, how the exam will be conducted. I will send you forms and other steps. And what did you say? What was his name? Evans. James Roderick Evans. It sounded rather grand. He said his full name is James Roderick Evans. He said it, it is sounding very grand, royal. Just one thing, Governor. He is not a violent sort of fellow, is he? And said Then the secretary of um, this examination department, he asked the Governor, um, I just want to ask you, is it violent type of person? I didn't want to know his criminal record or anything like that. But he said, I don't want to know about his criminal record, what he has done. But just I am asking you. No, there is no record, uh, record of violence. He said, no, uh, there is no record of violence. He is not violent type of personality. Quite a pleasant sort of chap. He is quite a, a good chap, pleasant chap, pleasant boy. They tell me, bit of a card. Really? He said, uh, bit of a card means he is just uh, different. He is weird type of person. But pleasant personality. One of the stars uh, at the Christmas concert. So whenever we have a Christmas concert, he is one of the stars. Means he, is, um, he plays his part and he is the star of that celebration, Christmas celebration. Imitations. You know the sort of uh, Mike Yardwood stuff. And he does imitation also. Even of Mike Yardwood also, he does imitation of different people. No, he is just a, a congenital kleptomanic. Congenital kleptomanic means congenital means um, like some habit which we have from birth. And which type of habit he has from birth? Kleptomanic. Kleptomanic means habit of stealing. So he has the habit of um, stealing from his birth. That's all. So he is not a violent type of person. Quite a pleasant um, sort of chap. A little weird, but he's a star of Christmas celebration. And he has the habit of stealing things. The gov governor was tempted to add something else, but he thought better of it. So he wanted to add something more, but he said, okay, leave it now. He had look after that particular side of things himself. He said um, he would look after um, these things himself. No need to tell to that secretary. Presumably, said the secretary, you can arrange a room where? Uh, he was presuming that, okay, possibly you will arrange a room for him. No problem. He is in a cell on his own. If you have no objection, he can sit there, sit the exam in there. He said, no problem, I will arrange room for him. But he is in the cell, in that prison, separate cell. And if you have no objection, he can sit there in the cell and give exam. That's fine. And we could easily get one of the parcels from St. Mary's Max to invigilate of that. He said, and we'll have a parson, parson means priest, from St. Mary's Max. St. Mary's Max is a church. So he said, we'll call one of the priests to invigilate. Fine, yes, they seem to have a lot of parsons there, don't they? He said, yes, they have a lot of parsons, a lot of priests there. The two men chuckled good-naturedly and the secretary had a final thought. They both laughed. Mm, quietly and the secretary gave the final thought at least there is one thing you should not have much trouble keeping him in communicado should you he said one thing is there which you have to keep in mind that um, you should not have any trouble in keeping him in communicado in communicado means he should not have communication with anyone will you take care of that the governor chuckled politely once more he laughed politely once more and reiterated his thanks Reiterated means um, repeated his thanks and slowly cradled the phone. And after that, he put down the phone. We have done in the last stanza that the secretary of examination board he agreed to have O level exam of German for Ivans in the prison. So we'll move to the next page now. Ivans the break as the prison officers called him. So prison officer they used to call him Ivans the break. Why they used to call him Ivans the break? Thrice he had escaped from prison. Three times he has escaped from prison. And but for the recent wave of unrest in the maximum security establishment up north, he would not now be gracing the governor's premises Oxford. So in Oxford. So he says that because now some unrest, some problem is going on in north of this maximum security establishment. So that's why he is gracing, um, gracing the governor's uh, um, this. Um, premises here in Oxford otherwise he would have been in north and the governor was going to make absolutely certain that he would not be disgracing them and he want to make sure 
um, sure that he would not be disgracing them for this. Not that he once was a real burden, just a persistent nagging presence. It was not like that he was a real burden, but he was continuously um, teasing his present, making his present uncomfortable for them. He would be all right in Oxford, though the governor would see to that, would see to it personally. And he wanted to make that he would be all right there in this place and he will see all the things personally. And besides, there was just a possibility that Evans was genuinely interested in O-level German. And it's a very slight possibility that he is interested in uh, O-level German. Just a slight possibility. Just a slight possibility. So he said um, that uh, that was a, just a possibility that he once was genuinely interested in O-level German. They means they don't know he was interested uh, genuinely or not. It's, it's a slight possibility that he is interested. Just a very slight possibility. Very slight. Very less. Okay. At 8.30 p.m. on Monday 7 June, Ivan's German teacher shook him by the hand in the heavily guarded recreational block. So his German teacher came there and shook him. In which block? block? Good and luck, Herr Ivan's. Pardon? I said good luck. Good luck for tomorrow. Oh, thanks, sir. I mean, sir, thanks, John. So they are speaking these words in German language. You haven't a cat in hell's chance of getting through, of course, but... So the sir was saying, I don't think you have any chance to go through this exam and to be passed in this exam. I may surprise everybody, said Ivan. Ivan said, no, I will surprise everybody. At 8.30 the following morning, Ivan had a visitor, two visitors in fact. He tucked his grubby string vest into his equally grubby trousers. So two visitors came to meet him at 8.30 and he put... Um, he was in his dirty grubby means dirty waist he was wearing and even the trousers also were very dirty and he stood up from the bunk smiling cheerfully morning mr jackson this is indeed an honor and that person two people came the one of them was mr jackson he wished him and he said it was indeed an honor jackson was a senior prison officer on leaving and he had once had already become warm enemies so he was a uh, prison officer in leaving and they they both were like enemies who Evans and Jackson at Jackson's side stood officer Stephens so two people those who came first was Jackson second one was Stephen a burly surly looking man burly surly looking man very um, sturdy and rude type of man only recent requ recently recruited to the profession he has joined this jail recently Jackson nodded curtly and How's our little Einstein this morning then? And he also nodded rudely. And he used to call him Einstein also. He said, how, how is our little Einstein this morning? Wasn't he a mathematician, Mr. Jackson? I think he was a Jew, Mr. Jackson. So they were talking to each other. He said, was he a math mathematician? He said, no, he's a Jew. Ivan's face was unshaven. And he wore a filthy looking red and white wobble hat upon his head. So his face also was unshaved and he was wearing a bobble, a bobble, you can, you can think of a woolen hair, hat, cap type he was wearing. Give me a chance, Mr. Jackson. I was just going to shave when you burst in. So Ivan said, give me a minute. I I Which reminds me, Jackson turned his eyes on Stephen. Then he looked at Stephen. Make sure you take his razor out of the cell when he's finished scrapping that ugly mug of his. So he told, Jackson told Stephen, make sure that you take the razor from the cell. After he shaves his um, mug means face. Okay, clear. One of the uh, one of these days he will do us all a favor and cut his bloody throat. He said, please don't keep the razor there. Otherwise, something he will do. He will cut his throat. And uh, better is that you take the razor from there. For a few seconds, Ivan's looked thoughtfully at the man standing ramrod straight in front of him. So he was looking at the man, Rembrandt was standing, he was standing straight in front of him. A string of second world war medals proudly paraded over his left breast pocket. And there were second world war medals were there as he was the police officer. So the medals would be there on his shoulder. Mr. Jackson, was it you who took my nail scissors away? He asked him, have you taken, you are the one who has taken my nail scissors also. He once had always worried about his hand and your nail file too. He said, not only nail scissor, I have taken your nail file also. Look for a moment, Ivan's eyes smoldered dangerously, but Jackson was ready for him. And smaller means he became very angry, burned with anger. 
but Jackson was ready for him. He knew that when I'll take these, these all the things, he would be angry. Orders of the governor once he said these were the orders from governor. He leaned forward and leered. Leered means when you see very bitterly, rudely to someone. His voice dropping to a harsh, contemptuous whisper. You want to complain? Uh, contemptuous means uh, with disrespect, lack of disrespect. He looked at him, he was talking to him, he whispered something in that way and he said, you want to complain. Even Ivan shrugged his shoulder lightly. The crisis was over. So he did not do anything, he just moved his shoulder. You have got half an hour to smarten your, uh, yourself up, Ivan, and take that bloody hat off. He said, now you have half an hour, you can smarten yourself, you can... But uh, take this hat also off. My hat. Oh, he once put his right hand lovingly on top of the filthy woolen and smiled sadly. He said, my hat. He put his hand on that lovingly. Uh, very filthy, very bad wool cap it was. Dirty uh, cap. And he smiled sadly. Do you know, Mr. Jackson, it is the only thing that's ever brought me any sort of luck in my life. Kind of lucky charm. He said, this is my lucky charm. This only because of this uh, hat, I have some luck in my life. If you know what I mean, and today I thought, well, with me exam and all that. He said, if you know this, I want this cap um, or hat with me in my exam. But somewhere in Jackson was a tiny core of compassion and he once knew it. So, but if somewhere in Jackson was a tiny core of compassion and he once knew it. So, Jackson, a little bit of um, compassion he had for he once in his heart. And he once also knew it.